This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome. I am joined by Leo from Mythic Games and JB from Mythic Games and today we're going to be doing a round breakdown for Steam Watchers. Now, uh, what we're going to do in this is we're going to give you a little bit of a breakdown on how you set up your games and we're going to go through a full round of the game. So, myself versus JB. Uh, Leo, how do we begin the game? Okay, so to begin the game you need to put the map here mm -hmm. and then uh, you need to decide who's first player mm -hmm. so we did that off camera yep. and JB won JB, right yes. and so after that you take the six uh, clan boards mm -hmm. and then uh, the first player gets to choose one mm -hmm. and JB chose the men row okay why did you men? choose them Oh, well, they are a very powerful one. Uh, they've got a lot of options. They've got a very long incubation, um, mm -hmm. very long incubation range. So they, they, they seem to be not as good as the other ones, but they've got little tricks like they've got some farms they mm -hmm. can leave behind. And if you get into them, you get attacked, mm -hmm. poisoned. So uh, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit booby trapped. Mm -hmm. So it's a funny one. Yeah, uh, for myself. And then second player gets to choose. What did you choose, Justin? I went for the free fleet. Now, because of the way this game is laid out, and because of the narrative behind it, we're we're in an ice age, so getting from place to place is key, and the free fleet are really good at it. So. Uh, whenever we're playing the game, I will get myself essentially a free port location in one of the frozen seas. However, I will also have my elite troops can just drive out onto the ice and go anywhere around Europa, which wow. to me is just super powerful. Yeah, it you, is, but it's powerful at like two people. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, yeah. And yeah, yeah, so movement is key to you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So after we've done that, after you've both cho chosen your two clans, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we need to choose to decide for a scenario. Mm -hmm. So there will be many scenario cards in this game, mm -hmm. uh, and the one we'll choose for this one is the Miracle Augie. Yep. So what do scenario cards give you mm -hmm. and tell you? So th they give you the number of turns for the game. So mm -hmm. we're only going to play one turn here, yes. but if we would wanted to play the whole game, it would be four turns. Mm -hmm. right? And you guys say per player adds about 30 minutes to the game. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. yeah, if you were to play a full game, that would be one hour, mm -hmm. approximately. Yeah. Uh, for four turns. Of course, uh, there will be scenarios with more turns that could, ta that could last longer, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's just average. Yeah, that and as you learn how to play, you will pick up speed the whole absolutely. time. Absolutely, yes, yes. Oh yeah, absolutely, yes. Then it gives you the setup, uh, special rules, and mm. the special rules for this uh, scenario. So mm. what do we have here for setup? Uh, well, we will uh, have to deploy an additional uh, elite soldier. So instead mm. of having one elite soldier, uh, you can have two to start with. I only so have two. On. So that means this scenario is not good for you because you can't have any anymore. But that's ah, but so I would deploy one normally, and I get to deploy my second. So it's very good for me because oh. I get both out oh, to begin with. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, actually, it's good for you. <laughs> you get <Yeah>. your two. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sorry, good forget what, what I said. <laughs> and then the special rules is whenever a player wins a combat, mm -hmm. they take this card, mm -hmm. the Miracle Augie. Uh, now they're controlling it, and mm -hmm. this will add one resource to your game, and we'll see what the resources are. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, the uh, winning conditions, yes. right? The first player who gets 10 resources, mm -hmm. geothermal resources, wins the game, right? Yeah. And in the last round, this is worth two Ooh. resources, right? So we've chosen the, 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 yeah, the, the scenario. Yeah. Now, uh, second player, mm -hmm. so which is you, mm -hmm. will have to choose uh, the deployment. Mm. So we have six deployment cards Yes, uh, that will be all around, uh, that will give you three areas where you can deploy, mm -hmm. and you can choose wherever you want to deploy, and you, you choose first. Now, I think I'm going to go with deployment five, because I think mm -hmm. this is going to be good for me, because everything's on the coastline. Okay. And I think that's it's perfect for the, for the free fleet. So which one? So, okay, just put a little soldier to, to the three uh, mm -hmm. areas where you have to deploy. Okay, so I have one here, one, one here, here, and another one here. Perfect. That's so, very good. So everything's on the coastline, and I have a haven, 
which yeah. is useful as well. So your deployment card tells you the three areas where you can deploy, mm -hmm. and it also gives you uh, the starting resources you have. So you mm -hmm. have a, a three-level Steam column that you can place uh, where you want. Mm -hmm. uh, let's put it here. And two farms. And you have two farms, mm -hmm. exactly, yes. So my farms. You could play them. You could place them uh, in in the same area if you wanted, or mm. in two separate areas. I so think it's I'll, I'll split it across two areas. You so we can just mention now that an area can contain up to two buildings, so mm -hmm. a farm or a turret or mm -hmm. uh, a beacon, yep. and up to five units. Okay. Whether they're normal soldiers or elite soldiers, but mm -hmm. no more than five. Okay. No. You, you're done with this? Well, you have yeah. to deploy the rest. Yeah, so I, I have my, my starting force here. So I've gotten another four regular troopers and my two elites because of our special deployment rules. Right. So I think I'm going to divide <laughs> my... <bikes. laughs> no, I'll keep no. my bikes in the same place. Yeah. <laughs> and then I will divide my other guys evenly between my other locations, like so. And so that would be my deployment And you done. still got your token? Ah, uh, yes. So I have this little token. It's a prototype piece. Uh, I think we robbed this from somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I get to place it on any one of these locations, yeah? Yeah. On the C location. On that the, means... On the slot. On the slot. Yeah, on the slot. On the slot. You're right. you won't have to pay for this one. It will stay during the old game. See. So, so that means you will have control over one C for the re remaining of the game, hmm. which well, is great. I think... Where do you want to have be control? quite useful to place it here, because this is the C right next to where all of my people already are. OK. And so it instantly gives me more movement. OK. Once you've finished this, mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, you suppose also uh, to... That was before. That basically. was before. Mm -hmm. So we, we haven't uh, mentioned that, but this this area here is an also an important one. Mm -hmm. So this is for the conclave uh, phase mm -hmm. that we will have at the beginning of each turn. And let me give you just in, in a few words uh, the, the, the different positions. Mm -hmm. When you, at the beginning of the turn, you have to choose uh, one of these... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, spaces that will uh, define what your clan leader will be during the turn. Mm -hmm. So before uh, the game starts or before each year starts, one mm -hmm. turn is about one year yeah. in, in game time, uh, the, the clan leaders, uh, they gather yeah. and they decide which role they will have for this year. <laughs> so mm -hmm. they, and so it, the, the, the different roles you can have is becoming a steam watcher. So you, you have this in position one. You also have this in position four. Mm -hmm. And if we were five players, we would add one position here, and it would be uh, another Steam Watcher. Mm -hmm. right? So when you're here, what happens is at the beginning of your turn, when you when you get there, mm -hmm. you get to draw three Steam co Columns cards. Mm -hmm. Which are these ones? Yes, these ones. You choose one that will go under uh, the Steam so Column deck. bearing one. Yes, you're bearing one. And then you keep the, the other twos, and you choose one that you will immediately play and reveal a new column. Mm -hmm. So you, you, get, you get to anticipate a little bit. You, you have a little uh, control uh, uh, on that. You choose which one will appear, mm -hmm. and then, and then you, you discard it. And you keep the other one mm -hmm. in your uh, hand. Yeah, that so means you can keep it for later. Yes, yes, and you c you don't have any hand size limit. You can have as many steam column cards as you want. Yeah. So this is the steam column. Yeah, and the the steam columns are important because they're what generate what's essentially the the geothermal energy, which is your victory points that you're trying to accrue to win. Absolutely, yes, yes, this is key. Uh, mm -hmm. The second position is the archon. Yes. So when you become an archon, you have uh, the ability to anticipate some of the events that are going to happen during the year. Mm -hmm. So that means when this happens, you draw two event cards. Uh, yes, you read them. Mm -hmm. uh, these event cards will have good, uh, if well, won't affect the archon, but they might have bad effects for the other players. Yeah, so the bad effects don't affect the archon. Usually, But yes. they do get the good effects. Yes, yeah. gotcha. exactly. So you've got to choose one and mm -hmm. then put the other one uh, at the bottom of the, uh, of yep. the deck. Gotcha. Right? So this is the archon position. Mm -hmm. The third position here is the legate uh, mm -hmm. position, which means it gives you, it grants you one special token. It won't look like this. It mm -hmm. will actually look like this one with uh, a nice boat. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, once you get this one, you can put this token 
on a sea, mm. not on, uh, not like we did here uh, on one of the two uh, uh, areas, uh, mm -hmm. on the two slots that uh, control the sea, but just the sea itself. You could put it, let's say, here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't occupy any of these, and that means you have control uh, of over this uh, mm -hmm. ice flow, yes. right, this sea. Uh, so we saw the, the other steam watcher thing. Mm -hmm. And then here you have the final last one is the Primus mm -hmm. token. Primus token means once you get it, you immediately reserve your position for next turn. Mm -hmm. And also that also means that you cannot be demoralized. So when yeah. you lose a battle, usually you're demoralized. Mm -hmm. your, your strength uh, will, will be divided by two yeah. if you are a Primus. You yeah, you don't care. Yeah, you don't care. All right. Well, I mean, like, I'm, I'm sure we'll get some, some punchy, punchy fighting on the go. Yeah. <laughs> this All is right. yours. So I've been choosing a deployment as well. I've mm -hmm. been choosing deployment two. So we've got two and five. If two you want to remove five. that. Yeah. All right. So yeah. the yeah. deployments that we have, Leo is now removing them from the Steam Watch deck. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's easy because you have a little number uh, saying, okay, this is deployment two, one, three, four, five, etc., and we remove them so that no columns will appear on our uh, areas, on, yeah. on the starting areas. So which which numbers do you have, guys? Uh, so two and five. Two and five. Two and five. So I remove all twos and fives. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you're just lowlands versus the highlands. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. <laughs> I've been putting myself in the mountains to avoid the raids from the sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because oh, yeah. Uh, that that's one of the things. Whenever you're you're moving, you can only move from the sea to a plain. You can't move from the sea onto a mountain. You can move from the mountain onto the sea though. So that's interesting. Also interesting is that you've put both your farms in the one location. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you and all my elite troops facing you. <laughs> Hello. And I'm guessing it's just normal farms that you're doing now. The your special farms you have to build. Yeah, I have to build my special farms. Yeah. Okay. Special farms. You know, so I've got four special farms uh -huh. that are going to look like that. And yeah. if I'm putting them, and by chance. Justin is coming, mm. visiting my region with a special farm. He'll get some incubation for that right, each turn. So He's going to increase his incubation each turn. So mm. they're quite nasty and stinky. He doesn't really want yeah, that. I, th I think he's secretly farming people, <laughs> making Soylent Green. <laughs> Soylent Green. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we are in a an yeah, Ice yeah. Age apocalypse. It makes sense. Yeah. I guarantee you there's, there's got to be one of the groups has got to well, be cannibals. In, in Snowpiercer, oh, yeah. she's kind of the same. You know, sort uni of universe, same, yeah, same universe, yeah. you know, frost apocalypse. Yeah. There's well, some solid All the, the buggy bars. Yeah, the buggy bars, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've deployed. You're both deployed. So yep. this goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just shuffle it again. So yep. now we. To reveal the sweep first. Yes, and now I shuffle this, and you're right. So we have we a special from our mission, yeah? Yes. Okay, so three steam columns will appear as mm -hmm. part of this scenario. So one will be. So we have Westfalen. Westfalen, we oh, have a one right column here, here yeah. and then I discard it. Three in the Commonwealth, which is this one. That's oh, very this interesting. One. Oh. oh, that's and lovely. Oh, those guys are for um, you. A three. <laughs> and a three. Uh, I, know, I know where Justin is going. <laughs> Over in, in Positania. Here. Well, you see, I've got the Commonwealth and Positania. Yeah, yeah. Well. So, and they're right on the ocean. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, 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 I see that. I'm not very happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK, so now mm -hmm. we're ready to start. We are. Yes. So first thing we do is we go down our conclave track for yes. the face. And yep. there's no one on the first one. So what happens when no one took first position? We simply take one uh, card, and we do make it appear mm -hmm. without any other intervention. Fingers crossed it's next to me again. So it's uh, Sunder Yeland. Sunder <laughs> oh my word! It's very so nice to you again. A three, a oh. three there. Wow. wow! What are you going to do? <laughs> Too many options. Well, I'm I'm gonna get all the steam vents. Yeah. You know, Rich all of people it. people problems. Okay, let's <laughs> see the second one. The oh, second one, one is uh, Bayern. Oh, no, 
Is, is there a second one because we're in the conclave because phase? We, because this no is not off the, oh, no, the no, mission. Oh no, 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 no! You're right. There was no. I, I was, I was. Making yeah, my you you were traveling back in time, Leo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. So that was the first, yeah. yeah. Due to the watcher, mm -hmm. then is the Arkan. Yes. Now you now you get to hurt me. So I'm picking two cards. Yeah. And I'm going to choose which one I'm applying. Mm -hmm. um, the Bion will come later when we reveal the second yeah. Steam Watcher uh, card. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh oh. <laughs> In the order. Oh, it's a bit mean because actually Justin cannot benefit from that effect, so this is why I'm choosing it. Okay. <laughs> so, in the order of the Conclave Tract, each player may pay one Alga Fuel to turn one of their soldiers into an elite soldier from the supply. Oh. The Arken does it for free instead. <laughs> <laughs> so. Go on, have an elite. That's very good. So, so. <laughs> so this, the other one will go... Uh, yeah, the other one goes to the bottom Sorry. of the deck and that marks our, our turn. Yeah. Okay. So we keep this card uh, here as a. Um, so, who is getting assassinated? I guess this guy. Okay, and, and it is a replace. As a marker. Oh, disappears. Yep. Okay, I see how it is. That's a nice thought. I see how it is. I, I feel. I feel good. Yeah, yeah okay. that was a nice move. Sh sh should I? Maybe. Yeah, m maybe that, that's gonna be this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you just uh, get yeah, way more powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A strong, yeah, concentration. Okay, so that was the second one. Mm -hmm. Third one, it's you, Justin. So mm -hmm. you get this. Yes, legate. The, the legate. Yeah. So I get to choose one of the seas now that I control. Yeah. I think I'm going to control this one. Oh, good. So. Basically, this now connects this C and this C for me. So anybody up here who's a regular guy can step out onto the ice floor and walk all the way around here. All the way inside it. Yes, which I think will be quite handy for me right now. I reckon. <laughs> and now we get to the, the one. So the yep. second one I was picking, which is Bayern. Mm -hmm. So Bayern is here, and it's a three columns. Oh, wow. On Bayern. Oh, wow. Well, well, Mother, Earth. Mother Earth is not a happy kitten right now. Yeah. And then there's no one for Primus, so nothing happens. Yeah. So maybe we could uh, explain uh, what uh, the board is about. Uh, yes, yeah, so our, our main control boards for each of our clans. So, uh, JB, if you want to put yours under closed camera for me there, we'll quickly run through it. So you have your clan name in the bottom right corner. You have your special action locations on the left-hand side there. JB only has two. I have three. In the center, you have your algo fuel barrels. Uh, barrels. So you've got regular ones, but you also have contraband ones. Now, those, those ones. contraband ones are important because it's basically you using too much resource and a little bit more than you should actually have. And what that's going to do is there's a tracker on the right-hand side of the board there, which is your incubation one. So basically, that's your people, your population get a little bit poisoned. So as you use those, those are going to start to push that up. And if you go too high, you actually have to start placing quarantine markers, which lock off different portions of your board. So that can either be your special actions, your space for algo fuel barrels, or your actual army size, uh, which can be very bad. If you want to build a big military, that can hurt a lot. Uh, what we also see there is the, the special rule for his elites. Uh, what is the special for your elites, just so I know? My special elite gets is strength uh, boosted by one in support. Support, so whenever you're supporting from another area? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your, your guys are very much about community and working together. Yeah. This is probably yeah. why you regroup them. Yeah. <laughs> Th this is a wise idea. I mean, like, my one, the darters, uh, are basically, darters may move uh, through an ice sea area with no pact, as if it was under a careener's pact. So as long as there's uh, an available slot yes. on the sea. Yes, Perfect. and in a two-player game, there will always be one, which, which makes yeah. these guys super quick to actually just go and grab locations. Right. Okay, so now that we've done that, I think we can start this turn and mm -hmm. so yep. see what happens. So we begin with JB. Yeah. Oh, good. JB. So now it's orders. Yes. yes. The first thing is you guys need to put orders, one order per area where you have at least one 
unit. If it was just like a, um, a beacon, that wouldn't work. You wouldn't be able to put orders. There are three types of orders. There's uh, movement, mm -hmm. there's defense, and there's decoy. Uh, you have three of each. So you have nine order tokens uh, in total. The decoy ones are obviously some of them s that you don't want, to, well, that you have to put once you, 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 you have no uh, other interesting ones. Uh, so the move token will allow you to move one area mm -hmm. uh, to an adjacent one uh, or a, a adjacent seacoast area mm -hmm. if you have control of the sea. Yes, right? if you have that packed. <laughs> yes. Um, or with the move, uh, the move token, you can do a, a forced march, which is yeah, using a special token. Uh, supposing you have three uh, special tokens uh, slot yeah, available. Locations. Locations, mm -hmm. yes. <coughs> so if you move, if you do a forced march, you you will move two areas instead of one, but only plains area. That mm -hmm. doesn't work for mountains area, as you've noticed on the on the map. There are three types of areas. Mm -hmm. You have the mountains, you have the plains, and then you have uh, the ice flows. The ice flows, mm -hmm. right. Uh, this is it for the movement. Then you have the defense tokens. The defense tokens are not just defense. These are also uh, actions that you can take in the, in the back, uh, background when you, yeah, in the yeah. shadows. Yeah, so if your friends are getting attacked, you can spend that to actually you know, jump in and help. You don't move into the space, but you add your combat power to theirs for that fight. Yeah. Uh, what does a, a defense token give you? Uh, when it's revealed, it gives you a plus one uh, mm -hmm. when uh, strength yep. when defending. Mm -hmm. yeah? So when you're attacking and there's still a, a defense token, you have plus one to your mm -hmm. total, uh, your strength total. Uh, you can also exchange this uh, defense token for uh, a special, uh, well, sp yeah, use a special ability, for mm -hmm. instance, uh, re, um, recruit. Ah, uh, yes, sorry, that's the one I showed was recruit. Yeah. Recruit mm. means uh, you, you recruit two soldiers or one elite mm -hmm. in your area or in an adjacent area that you control. That means that has minis on it. Mm -hmm. uh, or you could replace this uh, defense token with a turret mm -hmm. that will give you permanently plus two defense. Yeah, although that can be turned against you if your opponent clears out the area. Yes, because if you have no units there, yeah. then the turrets will be for him. Yeah, they, they know how to press the red button, same as you. <laughs> uh, or the last thing you can do is use the Karineer, uh mm -hmm. token and just do a deal with the Karineers and uh, use a special token to control the sea if there is a, 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 an a open free slot. slot. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing JB just constantly yeah, yeah, a lot of going, what should I do? A what's, lot of hesitations. What's the meanest things so I can do? So many things to do, <laughs> not enough orders. <laughs> yeah. So everybody put their orders to, and then we reveal yep. all of them simultaneously. So now yeah. we can see what you, you guys have chosen. There we go. Actually quite similar. So we both yeah. have two movements yeah. and one defensive token. Yeah. Right. So uh, JB, because you were higher than me in the uh, conclave, mm -hmm. you get to go first, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what would you like to do? Mm. I'm going to force march uh -huh. into that region. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So if he does that, that means he has to replace his movement token, uh, well, use one of his special ability token, put it on his board. Mm -hmm. And because it's a forced march, for each group of units that is doing the forced march, he has to pay one alga fuel barrel. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have to, not all of them have to do the forced march. As yeah. you can see, JB moved three up there. Three up there, so he yeah. has to pay one alga fuel for them. I, I may do that, I'm still wondering still. Uh, and if mm -hmm. this other one doesn't do the forced march, he doesn't have to pay for him. Yeah. And he could leave it here and. Yeah. However, you could force march into here as well, but yeah. then you're paying two fuel because you've got two separate groups doing exactly. the force march. So that's for sure I'm going to pay for this one. Yeah. But I'm still wondering if I'm leaving you that blank space or not. Uh, I could lose everything that way. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or you can leave a guy here, one of these, but... Mm. No, 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 no. I, I'm leaving... I'm leaving a beacon. a beacon behind. That's oh, yeah. Uh -huh. That's a rule that we didn't mention. When you leave an area that you control, mm -hmm. you, you can, for free, put a beacon token there. Mm -hmm. That means you keep control of the area. Yeah, so you've basically got some civilians working it. Yeah. But you must be careful because you have a limited number of beacon tokens. Mm -hmm. And if somebody gets control of your area, your beacon is destroyed, mm -hmm. and you will not have, if, if you are out of beacon tokens, then you can't do it, you can't do that again. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. Done? You yeah, you too. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my defensive token here mm -hmm. to recruit. So mobilizing two more units, but no. I will put them into here, <laughs> where it hasn't activated yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, you can definitely bring more people to an area where you have an unused uh, uh, order mm -hmm. and then use the order yeah. for the... Ent the yeah, so yeah. you can sort of chain up some activations. A yes, little bit. and then with all of the, the units that are there, they will benefit from the order. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. that was clever. Yeah. So, uh, so now it's back to yeah, JB job. because yeah, you alternate uh, yeah. doing orders. Yeah, and we've 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 had no fights yet. Well, uh, I reckon we may have one or two fights <laughs> this turn, <laughs> um, but because I'm not going to make things easy for you, oh. I, I want to have a fight. All right. So uh, you uh, want to fight? Yeah, I want to fight. <laughs> 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 so I'm. In order to do that, it doesn't yeah. seem like a very bellicose movement, but with that defense token, I'm going to do a. Contract with the Karenis uh -huh. on oh. that sea. Ah. Oh. See where I'm going. <laughs> I see what you're up to. Okay, so it's back to me. Uh, I am going to activate here, and we're just going to walk in and have a little go. So all five of my guys <laughs> are going to walk out into the ice flow and come at you from the sea. No. Because they're going through the, through the Oh, they're, they're, they're walking the around through the sea. Yeah, they're rather just, like just, that than just, using the just, land. Just, just because the common can. border. You, know, you don't yeah. need to. No. <laughs> That's I, funny. I don't need to. I want to. Yeah, it's adjacent. Besides, you know, so <laughs> but yeah, attacking yeah. from the sea, it's more tactically effective. <laughs> so, so I've yeah. got... It's to impress them, right? Mm. I've got four yeah. in defense. I've You've got, got five, five in attack. Oh. If yep. we get into a draw, the attackers win. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is important. This is the first fight, and the the winner will get the uh, miracle algae uh, card and gets plus one resource at the end. Mm -hmm. So the way combat works is you add all of your strength. So uh, the pirates, well, the the free fleet has five, and mm -hmm. JB has four, and then uh, you can add as many. Uh, from zero from to zero. six <laughs> Argo fuel <laughs> tokens. Zero. Well, supposing you have enough on your board, yes. and you both have, and that will be added to your total. And as uh, JB said, mm -hmm. in case of a tie, attacker wins. Yeah. Now, this is where, if you're good at mathematics, you can quickly look at your opponent's resources and run the numbers. So JB currently has four there, so the max he can do is 10. So, so long as I can do 10, I will win. Exactly. Yeah. And also, if you use uh, contraband uh, algo fuel barrels, as you know, it's risky. That means your incubation will raise one yeah. for no. each uh, contraband uh, algo fuel. So now we reveal, what is your... Well, uh, this, this is the, the clever thing, because this is the point where you can start playing mind games yeah, with your opponent. Exactly, yeah. Because JB is good with numbers as well. <laughs> And it makes me go, do I gamble it and use less of my fuel? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't because think Because I'm putting zero, anyway. <laughs> oh, you're a liar. Five. <laughs> I'm putting three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm a liar. <laughs> so, so I burn five of you mine. Burn, yeah. No I matter what three. happens, you have to pay and burn uh, the algo fuel you bet. Mm -hmm. So what is the final total? I've got four plus three makes seven. He's got five plus five makes ten. ten. I'm yep. very losing. So yep. what's happening is one guy is dead, mm -hmm. goes back to my reserve. The other ones, they've got the option to flee. And when they're fleeing, they have to retreat in an adjacent area mm -hmm. you control. 
in that event, that's so good. I've yeah. got one. He's got one. So leaving one guy behind was a good idea. Mm -hmm. the, the th if he hadn't uh, any er uh, adjacent areas that yep. he controlled, he would lose all of his guys. Yeah, they would so this is like not. Crap, I'm dead. But the, the bad thing when you lose a fight and have to retreat is yeah. you are demoralized. So I've yeah. got that red cube to signify that my strength is going to be divided by two random down. Mm -hmm. So I could go for a little bit of a murder fest here if I so desired. <laughs> no. But it's thankfully for you, my turn is now done. Yeah. Oh, right. is it? No. Oh, it, is it, it, it was, it, it was it playing. Is. So now you, you, what do you do? You pass? No, no, it's my no, turn. No, no, no. I, uh, my, oh, my, yeah, yeah, my, yeah, okay. my turn was finished because oh, I went, right. I moved there's still, so, there's still time to crush yeah, me so later. So JB now, <laughs> I now don't have his shot at it. Yeah, I don't have many options. I cannot really up these guys. So I'm just going to activate that uh -huh. and make oh. a movement. Mm -hmm. To tempt you to over attack here. you there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So by C, you are going to claim uh, the yeah. three yes. level steam column. Okay, yeah. very good. And cool. doing so, I'm kind of hoping that it will divide his strength okay. here between here and here, or I don't know, making mm. choice. So you want to tempt him to go yeah, there? Yeah, well, or I'm giving him options. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like. I know he had a master plan from the four. beginning. He was going to split and uh, so what I'm what I'm gonna do is my last one's gonna activate. Yeah. I will leave a beacon beacon behind. Yeah. And we're moving out onto the escalator. So this guy he's just gonna walk to here. Sure. And these two they're gonna walk. Okay. Down You're not doing to anything here. with that. No, no, I don't need it. No, no, no. I do not need it. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> 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 Again, the, the, this this is my brain on games is just what's oh, the most efficient. Sorry, oh, I forgot to leave. Uh, oh, you like forgot to leave my. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> sorry, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's and okay. I, I hope that's not an F bomb. That I have no, not no, done no, a no. I think I was like, oh. <laughs> no, no, I realized that. I, All right, so we I have knew that you were going there. We so have we have fight. a second fight. Oh yeah, we forgot who won the fight. It was oh, you, it was Justin. Me. So you won this card. Yes. And now you're fighting again. Yes. <laughs> And now I have the choice. <laughs> so I'm on four, you're on three. Yeah. And I only oh, have contraband yeah. left. You've got only contraband left. Yes. Oh, oh, that's, that's, oh, a, that's, oh, a, that's a good one. Yeah, every time he uses a contraband algo fuel, his incubation will raise by one. And it yeah. can have bad consequences. Yeah. You will so see. that's the other thing to keep an eye on your opponent's boards is, are they using regular algo fuel or are they using contraband? Mm -hmm. So I, I definitely won the fight there, and I can definitely win the fight here. Yeah. But it's risky. <laughs> it's going to cost you so much, mate. <laughs> or maybe it's just going to be Well, we're, we're only playing one round, so I think it's it's a go beggar, go home <laughs> scenario yeah, here. It, it makes a difference. Maybe if it was a full game, If it was a full would, game, yeah. I would not be coming after you like sure. this. I would not be so gung-ho. I would be <laughs> taking this area here, and I would quite possibly be moving around to somewhere else, maybe somewhere down here. Yeah just so that I could start looking at other areas of the map. So you're not playing this. seriously. You're going to have quarantine, but you don't care. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. ah, <laughs> so I, you know actually, it. oh, it's maybe very he's good for the round breakdown mm -hmm. because it allows us to show everybody exactly what happens whenever you do quarantine really, really badly. Right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's go so for see, it. I'm helping to teach you. <laughs> or maybe funny. he's bluffing and then he's just want, he just wants a JB I, to, to play. I do not have that good a yeah, program. Yeah, he's not a bluffer. <laughs> Four. Four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so see. I win by one. Yeah. Okay, so you pay all of your... Oh. So I'm increasing by two. One, yes. two. Because you uh, use two contaminated by yep. uh, algae fuel. Yep. Uh, and I am increasing by four, <laughs> which means yeah. I get my first quarantine, which yeah. means I have to lock up one yeah. of the spaces on my board, so I will lock off the army maximum size. Maximum army size. And yeah. it's not... It's not finished. <laughs> you will have some. Oh, exactly. Yeah. But that I want to show how badly it can go. Yeah. However, you lose somebody from here and would have to retreat. Yeah. Back. However. Yeah. No, because you can you retreat via C. Sure. Yes, he can. So he can retreat by C back to where he started. Because I've got a beacon there. Yeah. However, you're going from C to uh, the mountains. Is oh, that okay? Oh, no. Too? Yeah. No. Oh, no. So, so he cannot. Oh so my god, no, actually, yeah, actually the dead, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah. they would die. Uh, well, is there anywhere else where you could, uh, you could rally? Or? Not with this C. No, because the oh, this so C no, 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 begins no. here oh. and ends here. You're fully right, mistake. Yeah. yeah. 
But again, it's it's something good to show people because how many times would you sit down and because that wouldn't have came yeah. up with something like this, you would argue about it. So you can only move from the sea to a plain. You can move from a mountain into the sea, which is important. Yeah. Yep. And so for retreating, you would be able to retreat through the sea to a plain, but not to a mountain. Yeah. Got you it. can go from a mountain to a plain yep. and through mountain the sea, plain. but yep. when you go through yep. the sea, you can only land or... Yep. Yeah. And if you want to go into the mountain, it has to be from a plain, unless there's one of the factions that's a little bit wizzy. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, are done. we finished with all of the orders? We are indeed. So who is passing first? Uh, it would be JB would pass first. So JB, you have to choose your position for next turn. So I cannot be on the same location I was before. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to choose to be on the Primus. Okay. To guarantee you get what you want. Yeah. Uh, I will move to be the Archon. Mm -hmm. And then... And then this is yeah the end of this phase. Mm -hmm. uh, you've both passed. So now uh, what we will do is uh, go and see if we build farms. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, we build farms uh, on one level columns, and mm -hmm. you need to have a, a, a unit there. There's only one, uh, but mm -hmm. it's, there's no one, uh, no one here, so this will not happen. We will pass. And then wha wha what happens? Well, it's on the next phase, uh, actually. Ah. On the next phase, each of the columns will, uh, will be diminished by mm -hmm. one. So we will start first with, with, uh, start with the ones where you yep. have no units. Yep. So this so one, one will here. Uh, there's this one, one here the leaves and there's no units so that means there's no contamination mm -hmm. uh, and then the other ones have people okay yep. so one so, here yeah so I gain another quarantine another I will one put it on here. My fuel. another one I will put it on my special order you've been you gotta move it hmm? did you move your oh yeah yeah so up to six yeah and then another one. Which puts me up again. That's an exile, so you have to kill someone from the board and remove it from, from the, the game. game. It's so. not even in your reserve anymore. So that, that man is dead. And finally gone. here too, another guy who is uh, exiled. Uh, so this is why you don't go nearly as gung-ho as what I went, yeah. unless you're going for the coup de gras. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see what, what happens for you. Uh, so yeah, we, we took, we took, you took it. took one yes. for it. This one, uh, you, you take one, one incubation. Yep. So you get a quarantine. I've got a quarantine. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's, that's it. it. And, uh, and I personally really like also playing a two player game because mm -hmm. it's easy to learn the rules. Uh, uh, games yeah. are really fast. And yeah. then when you go in like multiplayer game, yeah. you know the rules, uh, you know uh, oh, yeah, you your, your factions. And yes. And a two yeah. player game after like two, three, maybe, I, I think even two plays, yeah. I think it's. It's lasting even not an hour. Uh, yeah. Oh we've yeah. been playing with Leo in 45 minutes. Yes, you know? a full so game. A full we went game. till yeah. the fourth round yeah. and it was 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. It, it's something that I always point out whenever you guys bring a new game, Leo. Your, your mechanics are really clean and clear. People aren't getting confused the whole time. Even, all right, there was that tiny little thing of, oh, but can you retreat onto a mountain? And yeah. it's just like, well, common sense would dictate, no, because yeah. you can't move that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because everything is just, it's engineered so perfectly that it just, it runs. And once you understand what you're reading, you know, it's, it's just learning to read a small language in mm -hmm. this game. Once you can read the language, go nuts, have fun, play your tactics. Right, everybody, get your comments in below. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Make sure and go and check out the Kickstarter and support these guys because they're one of my favorite companies. We oh, will move on. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on. <laughs>